I was born in Thursday Island. I lived in Torres Strait all my life. Worked there. I decided that I was going to come down to Cairns only because I wanted to give the kids an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me as well to develop my career path because, you know, DIAC is the path that I choose to build on my career. So it was an opportunity for me and my children to travel down here. It would still be closer to home, so I didn't have to feel like I was too far away from home where I couldn't go back home every now and then. Hey Barry. The biggest thing each morning is to come in and say hello to everyone. And when people don't know who you are, and then you come in and shout, you know, good morning everyone, you know, and now I get a reaction every morning. So it's something that brings joy to me that, you know, that an office that used to only sort of say hello in a very soft way has become hello in a loud way. I just think that there is a, a career opportunity for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I think there's a career here for anybody who would like the opportunity to work with DIAC knowing that if you're a client service person, if you're a people person, you know, you've got opportunities within this organisation to work with people. If you're a leader in some way, there's opportunity for you to grow in this organisation. But DIAC is an organisation where it gives you a lot of opportunity. It has stepping stones for everybody who wants to achieve the highest. I like to be with DIAC and I think I'll be here until retirement day. With DIAC, it, it's got a lot more opportunity than other organisations that I've actually looked at. Opportunities of not only working in Australia, but working overseas. You know, if, uh, Aboriginals or Torres Strait Islanders, children or individuals out there who would like an opportunity here, you know, this would be the best point to start. <laughs>